So, what's going on with Battlefield 4 right now? We haven't really heard a peep out of Dice LA for almost six weeks since the turn of the year. No mention of any real testing going on in the CTE, no mention of any continued development on any of the projects they had going before Christmas, not much being said at all. One thing that they did recently announce is an update to the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game. They are finally getting a solid update for the tick rate of the servers, that's something that PC has had for a few months right now. And I managed to dig out a few tidbits of information about a possible announcement coming up very soon. I'll talk about that in the second half of the video. David Serland, lead developer for Battlefield 4 at DICE LA, confirmed via a battle log post that on February the 9th, the rollout for the higher tick rate servers would commence for the consoles, with the US East Coast servers being the first to receive the change, and by February 11th, providing the rollout goes all well, all servers globally will have had the patch enabled. Something that you might find interesting though is the different level of tick rate that's being applied to the console servers in comparison to the PC servers, that's the update rate. Dice LA will be enabling a default 45 hertz rate on all of the servers running 32 players or lower. PC servers can run all the way up to 144 hertz right now, which mimics some of the highest refresh rates PC monitors can work to. The reason behind the much smaller increase in tick rate, David explains, is to make sure the increase is affecting all players positively, rather than benefiting some from a much higher tick rate and others not really seeing any benefit at all. The reason they aren't increasing the tick rate on servers with more than 32 player slots is the exact same reason. They don't want to negatively affect the gameplay experience by increasing the updates the server receives and the tick rate the server is trying to process all of these updates from different players. The devs didn't feel confident that 64 players would work flawlessly on all of the maps with all of those players trying to send updates all the time, so they've left that at the standard 30 hertz tick rate. So, console players rejoice, you get a smoother gameplay experience and hopefully an overall improvement to the game client. But what else? Is anything else happening over at DICE LA right now? Well it doesn't seem to be on the face of it, but maybe they're just being secretive and I've got a feeling. I follow a few of the DICE LA developers on Twitter and their accounts have been fairly quiet over the last few weeks. Usually JJJU is out there interacting every day and David Serland is always jumping into different conversations, but that appears not to be the case right now. I don't really think they've got the time to be spending, well, all of their time on social media interacting with the community. I think they're working on something. And then I spotted this. Is Battlefield 4 extended support dead? Is CTE dead? No more classic maps? What's up? We've not heard anything for the past few months. Along comes David Serland. I know, I'm awaiting go ahead on communications to tell you guys. It's taking its sweet time though, sorry. And another tweet here as well. I'm good thanks for asking, very busy at the moment and I'm eagerly awaiting the go ahead to keep you guys in the loop, still waiting. These are phrases that David has used time and time again. He and the team at Dice LA need clearance from EA's communications and legal departments before they can go and open up and tell us about all the new things that they've been working on. It seems something is on the horizon, but right now we aren't being told. And that's not the developer's fault, it's just the way things are. Those tweets were sent by David nearly a week ago now. So here's to hoping we don't have to wait too much longer for some information as to what's going on with Battlefield 4 this year. But don't forget, Battlefield 2016 is due in late 2016. So to be honest, we haven't really got that long now before we see brand new Battlefield content as well. Thanks very much for watching. I know Battlefield 4 videos have been very few and far between lately here on my channel. Uh, that's just because, well, looking at the content of this video, there's not a huge amount going on. Hopefully that changes soon. But I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported my channel since the turn of the new year, where Battlefield hasn't really been very present on my channel. 
Um, I've been producing all different types of content and you guys have been supporting it massively and over the last six weeks it's been the best six weeks of YouTube for my channel ever which is fantastic so thank you so much for continuing to support me but let me know what you want to see in Battlefield 4 this year down in the comments and while you're down there drop me a like as well but until next time my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video